<laughs> it's freezing out there. <laughs> Ooh, quick, Ben, close the door. I'll we'll be freezing in here too. <laughs> OK, give me a chance, Small. There's a really strong wind out here. Ooh, uh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I think that's got it. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. We've just been playing out in the snow. It was brilliant. It's a shame we couldn't last out there any longer, though, Ben. Oh, yes. We thought we had all the perfect clothes for this wintry weather. We went out in our warmest coats. To keep our bodies nice and warm. We put on our scarves. To keep our necks nice and warm. We put on our gloves. To keep our hands nice and warm. And we put on our nice woolly hats. I knitted mine. It took me ages. <laughs> to keep our ears lovely and warm, too. And all the warmth couldn't escape from our heads. The only parts of us that didn't stay warm were our poor old tootsies. <laughs> our feet and toes need warm boots to go out in the snow, but we don't have any warm boots, so our feet are freezing and our socks are really soggy. Oh, yuck. So... No more playing out in the snow for us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Aha! A customer small. You better go and see who it is. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's in our cafe? Give us a clue, small. Could you shut the door, please? Thank you. <laughs> it's a really big creature. Oh, is it an elephant? <laughs> Have another try. It's white and furry. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. A polar bear. <laughs> no, you'll never guess. It's a yeti. It's a whatty? A yeti. Jan the yeti. I'm sure I've got a story about him somewhere. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Not too long ago, I went on a walking trip to the mountains. It was very cold, Brrr, and thick snow lay everywhere. Suddenly, I heard a voice. It sounded rather unhappy. Oh, dearie, dearie me, it moaned. I looked all around, but I couldn't see anyone. Just bright white snow everywhere. Who are you? I called. My name is Jan the Yeti, came the reply. Well, where are you? I shouted. And suddenly, I bumped into the leg of a very big, very furry, very white creature. Oh, there you are! I smiled. But Jan the Yeti didn't smile back. In fact, he looked very sad. No one can ever see me, he sighed. When my friends Brian Bear and Monty Moose come to play with me, they can hardly ever find me, because my fur is the same colour as the snow. So they just go home again, and I get so lonely. I tried to cheer Yan up. I bet you're great at hide and seek, I said. What's the use of playing hide and seek if no one can find you? Replied Yan. Then I had an idea. I think I can help you. I'll be back tomorrow. See you later. If you can find me again, said Jan sadly. When I got back to where I was staying, I got a big ball of bright red wool out of my rucksack and I spent the whole night knitting something special for Jan. The next day, after a long, long search, I bumped into Jan again. From out of my rucksack, I brought a very big, bright red bobble hat. Woohoo! Put this on, I told him. Yan did, and it fitted perfectly. 
If you wear this hat when your friends are coming to play, they'll have no trouble spotting you in the snow, I told him. Jan was so happy that he picked me up very carefully <laughs> and gave me a big soft Yeti hug. Way! A very warm little cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, brilliant story, Small. It's great that you're such a good knitter. These hats of yours are really useful. The hat for Jan was a great idea, though I do say so myself. But now we need another great idea. What for this time? We need to think about what to cook for Jan the Yeti. Ah, right. What to cook for a Yeti. Oh, I know. How about spaghetti for a Yeti? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you'd like a drink. Something wetty for a Yeti. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Ah. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Look at this! Yeti Pear Pudding! Yeti Pears in Rice Pudding Snow! Perfect! Just the thing! Let's go, Ben! OK, little cook, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need full cream milk. OK, no problemo. Milk in the fridge. There we are. Milk, got it! Butter or margarine? In the fridge as well, but, uh, got that small. Pears, tinned or fresh? OK, over to the cupboard. Pears, oh, here we go. Lovely pears. Sugar. Here we've got that as well in the cupboard. Got the sugar small. Apricot jam. Oh, lovely tasty apricot jam. I love this. Got it. Raisins. Here we go. Raisins. Got those two. And pudding rice. Pudding rice, rice. Oh, here we go. Right. Excellent. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Small? I've never made rice pudding before. Well, why don't I whiz off and find out how it's made and you get all the ingredients ready? Good idea. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, why don't you come along too? <laughs> go, Small, go, Small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo-choo! I'm in the right place here! This lady is going to make some rice pudding. First, she needs to fill up the pan with lots of milk. Now she's adding the pudding rice. Stir it all up. That's butter and it will soon melt because it's hot in that pan. Look at all the bubbles. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. <laughs> and the last ingredient is cream. Yummy scrummy. That's rice pudding! Mmm! I love rice pudding and this little girl does too! I'm really hungry now! <laughs> Bye! There, that's everything! All ready for when Small gets back. Way! I'm back! Hiya, Small. Did you have a good trip? I certainly did. It was really interesting, Ben. I saw a lady making rice pudding with a very special pudding rice. It was all lovely and creamy. Yummy! Oh, it sounds amazing. But we better get on. You're right, Ben. We've got a very big, very hungry customer. So, let's get going! We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. 
Jelly boats and pirates gold Princess pea pies Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Yeti pear pudding? You do. There was full cream milk. 600 milliliters. Butter or margarine. One tablespoon. Pears. Two. Cut in half. Sugar. 25 grams. Apricot jam. Two tablespoons. Raisins. About 24. And pudding rice. 50 grams. Whoopee! Let's get started! OK. I've turned the oven on already to 170 degrees Celsius, gas mark 3. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. What can I do, Ben? First job, could you get a piece of silver foil, please, Small? Big enough to cover this dish. OK. I'll go and do that. This little bit of butter is for greasing the dish. Like this. We grease the dish before the food goes in. It stops it from sticking. And just a little bit more on the sides. There we go. That's done. So now, we can pour in the pudding rice. The sugar. And the milk. Let's get it all in. There we go. Oh, this is going to be tasty. And then mix it all up. Whew. Here's the foil, Ben. Oh. Thanks, Small. There you go. Now cover the top of the dish tightly with the foil like this. That stops the rice pudding from getting burnt and brown on the top. Because it wouldn't be rice pudding snow, it would be rice pudding mud. Yuck! <laughs> Next, we can put the dish into the oven. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. There we are. Open up the oven. And then we can put the rice pud into the oven for about two hours, and you'll need to stir it a couple of times during the first hour. When the rice pud has been in the oven for a couple of hours, turn off the heat, and then take out the dish and put it to one side until later. Now this is a job for your grown-up helper to do, and so is this. Put the apricot jam into a saucepan. There we go. Just get the rest of it out. There we are. Turn on the heat and stir it round until it goes all runny. Can I help with the jam? Oh, yes, please, Small. Right, you need to get the spoon and dot little blobs of jam all over the rice pudding. These are going to be snowflakes. But be very careful, Small. The jam is hot, hot, hot. You want snowflakes? You've got snowflakes. Oh, it's still snowing outside. I wish we had some proper boots. I'd love to go out and play in the snow again. Me too, Ben. But I don't want to get soggy socks again. <laughs> right. Now for the Yeti pears. I'm going to cut zigzag shapes out of the bottom of the pears, like this. There 
There we go. And pop them on to the snowy rice pudding. There's one. And another. There's another. You can use the big raisins for the hands and feet and the small ones for the eyes. Yeah, and the Yeti must be really hungry by now. Ooh, that's beginning to look like a Yeti, Ben. Finished! Ho oh, ho, it looks great small. One Yeti pear pudding coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. And pop, the things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes, Small! It looks like Jan enjoyed his Yeti pear pudding. Look, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Hey, hey! Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, I loved my Yeti pear pudding. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm still using your bobble hat, Small, and in return for sorting out my snowy problem, Here's a present which might help you both with yours, from Jan the Yeti. Hey, hey, look small. It's snow boots. There's a pair for you and a pair for me. Ha! Here you go, small. Ho, ho! Now we can go and play in the snow again and our feet will be as snug as bugs in rugs. Hooray! No more soggy socks. Woohoo! Quick, Ben, let's get our outdoor clothes on. See you soon. <laughs> oh, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>